Hey, every bear. Today I'll be walking you through how to recover original Bearville assets from an old computer on which you used to play the game. These files will help the Bearville rewritten team to rebuild Bearville. In case you were wondering, a game asset refers to any individual piece of a game. This includes music tracks, maps, objects, character art, and more. Here's what you'll need to complete the recovery process. An old Windows computer on which you used to play Bearville, a flash drive, the Flashpoint Cache Exporter Tool, download link in description, and 7-Zip software, link also in description. Now let's get started. Browser games often save files in a location on your computer called the browser cache. This allows websites to download elements faster every time you revisit, as those files will already be stored on your device, in the cache, and won't have to be re-downloaded. We can use this to our advantage to look for lost Bearville assets that might still be hanging around on your old computer. The first thing you'll need to do is download the Flashpoint Cache Exporter tool from this URL using your current computer. This tool was made by members of a Flash game archive project named Flashpoint. It's a bundle of several different pieces of software that we can use to explore and export the files located in our browser cache. For more in-depth information about how the tool works and everything it includes, you can visit the wiki page here. These links will also be in the description. Next, you'll need to move the tool you just downloaded onto your flash drive. Once that's done, boot up your old computer and insert the flash drive. A word of caution, do not attempt to download this tool from the browser on your old computer. If you open your old browser, you run the risk of deleting cached game files in the process. This is why we're using the flash drive. Likewise, do not update anything on your old computer before completing this process. Next, open your files and move the cache exporter tool onto your desktop. Now double click it. It will ask you to choose a location to extract to. Choose the desktop and then click Extract. Click on your newly extracted folder and double click the App folder inside. You should see a number of folders here. We will be using the Cache View tools for various browsers located here. This is the most effective way to make sure we grab every game asset in the cache. Take note of which browsers are installed on your computer. We'll be running the corresponding cache view tool for each one. IE Cache View is for Internet Explorer, MZ Cache View is for Firefox, and there are also cache view tools for Chrome, Opera, and Safari. Because I have Internet Explorer installed on my old laptop, I'll start by using the IE Cache View tool. However, you can follow this tutorial regardless of which browser, because the instructions are almost identical for each different one. After clicking into the IE Cache View folder, click onto iecacheview.exe. Wait for it to load and then click File in the top left corner. Next, click Select Cache Folder. If you happen to know the location of your cache, type it in accordingly. However, it should automatically load in a path for you. After the backslash windows in the path here, I'm going to delete web cache and replace it with temporary internet files, with each word capitalized and spaces between each one. The path you should use to reach your cache is displayed on the screen here. Next, press OK and the tool will start to do its job locating and listing all the files in your browser cache. Now the most vital step, be patient. This tool can take a wildly varying amount of time to complete, and it's typically very slow. This process took about one hour to complete on my machine. Though the process may take a very long time, be sure to wait it out, because if you stop the program midway, you'll have to start all over again later. Once the tool has completed its job, you will see a list of files that were in your browser cache. Now for the moment of truth, scroll through the list and be on the lookout in the URL column for any files from play.bearville.com. You may also see files from www.bearville.com or even buildabear.com, though these particular ones are less likely to be relevant. If you see anything from a Bearville URL, that means you have successfully recovered game assets from Bearville. Congratulations!
but we're not done quite yet. Now we have to export the files. You have one of two options to do so. You can either press Ctrl A to select every file in the cache, or you can hold Ctrl and click on only the Bearville related files in your cache to export. Up to you. Just keep in mind that exporting the entire cache at once will take a very long time. Once all the files you want to export are selected, press File and then click Copy Selected Cache Files to. Leave the default save location as it is and make sure that the Save Files in the Directory Structure of the Website box is checked, as this will ensure the files maintain their original folder structure. Wait for the files to copy over to their new folder. This will be located back in your main Flashpoint folder under App, your selected browser's Cache View folder, in my case IE Cache View, and then Cache Files. Check to see if everything has been exported, and then move or copy this Cache Files folder back onto your flash drive. Note, if your old computer has more than one browser installed, follow this same process by using the appropriate Cache View tool in the App folder to export your other browser's caches. More information about each of these tools can be found in the README text file in each of their respective folders. Additionally, if your computer has multiple user profiles, run the exporter tools again on each one to make sure you didn't miss anything, as the cached files are different on each profile. When you're done exporting, safely remove your flash drive and return to your current computer. Next, we'll want to isolate the Bearville files we found and send them to the rewritten team to use. You won't want to send over every file you've exported from your cache because some of them may contain sensitive information like names or addresses. However, Bearville files are only game assets and will not include any of this information, so we are safe to send them on their own. Next, make a new folder on your computer to store the found Bearville assets. I'll call mine Bearville Cache. Copy the entire play.bearville.com folder and or the www.bearville.com folder from cache files into Bearville Cache. Note, do not alter the file structure of the assets you find or move any files around, as that structure is what allows the game to run as originally intended. Lastly, you'll need to use the 7-zip software you downloaded earlier to zip all your files into one archive. With everything tucked into Bearville Cache, right-click the folder and hover over 7-zip. Click on Add to Bearville Cache.7z and wait for your archive to compress itself. Now you're all ready to send your assets to the team. Contact a Bearville rewritten staff member on Discord and they will instruct you on where to send your zipped archive. Congratulations! You've just done your part in helping Bearville Rewritten come to life. Thank you for watching and stay possum!